this is your temple. We are your people. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Use us however you please in song and worship, in scripture and verse, Lord. And I stand in our posture. Hallelujah. And I cry out unto you, Lord. Hallelujah. Use us however you see fit, Lord Jesus. Because you'll get the glory. You'll get the honor, Lord Jesus. You will get the praise always. Hallelujah. These things we ask of you and we expect of you, Lord. Because we know that you're able to do it. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks up to you, Lord. For you are good. And your mercy is enjoyed forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Saints, it's good to be here on today. It's good to be here. I'm glad to be here. So glad. So glad. Though the land of the living is wicked, I'm so glad to still be alive. Be alive today. See, but this entire week. It's a privilege. Yes. This entire week, mm. there's been so much turmoil, so much yes, yes. despair, so much killing. Yes. 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 And it's been prophesied. Day by day. It's been prophesied. Amen. We are literally living in the last and evil days. And we're in the last of the last of the evil days. And it's happening right before our eyes. Yes. Hitting so close to home. That's right. Hitting so close to home. Word is true. It's prophecies are true. It seems like the devil is trying to turn up the volume. Yeah. Turn up the volume. He knows the time is ahead. Jesus, he's turning up the volume on us. Expecting us to fear. Come on, sir. Expecting us to be scared. My Lord. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm going to admit, if he would have caught me. A good five to ten years ago, I would have been shook, I would have been scared. Yes, yes. But there's a certain confidence that I have within me. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. That sits on me, that is still sitting on me. Yes. In spite of the killings. Amen. In spite of the little children, the innocent lives being taken. Yes, yes. In spite of all that, in spite of how close Jesus. it's hitting us. I still, my faith still remains. My stance still remains. Yes. Yes. Keep it my there. stance still remains. Yes. And I'm on this solid rock. Hi, hi, hi. Solid, yes. solid foundation. Yes. Yes. And it seems like he's this devil is trying. He's trying. Yes, he is. Test he's it. trying. Yes, Lord. Trying to touch up on our heart. Yes. None of those who have weak hearts. Yes. Jesus. He's Jesus. trying to get in your mind. And he visits you when you're weak. That's right. That's when it's late at night. That's right. When everybody's sleeping. Yes. When everybody's sleeping. When you start hearing things going yes. up throughout your house, throughout your apartment. Yes. And you hear commotion out there. Yes. My Lord. He visits you then. And he knows. Yes. He knows. Yes. When mommy and daddy aren't there, they're, they're in their bedroom. Yes. Yep, yep. And they can't be there to comfort you. Yes. The devil creeps into your room. He creeps into your mind. Yes. And he sits there. He tries to dwell there. Uh -huh. My Lord. <coughs> and even in my grown age five years ago, he would have taught me. Uh -huh. But that solid foundation Come that I'm standing on. Yes, that solid foundation that I'm standing on. Believe in Causes me to patrol my house. Amen. Patrol my house when my, when my family is asleep. Causes me to walk outside if I need to walk outside of this door. Found 
started to knock on my door. But that doesn't mean it wasn't always there. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. So that state, that same state yes. that we had back when, yes. back when they were getting chastised and beaten and punished and killing for happening across the world, Jesus. now it's at our door. Jesus. We need to have that same state. Jesus, Jesus. We need to have that same state. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Now this is not even my topic. Today, hallelujah, I'm just, I'm here to say what the Lord has to say. That's right, there you go. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. The Lord is saying, be not weary, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Do it well. Be not weary, hallelujah. Because we're going to reap, hallelujah. If we faint not, hallelujah. Hallelujah, our time is coming. Jesus is on the way. My Lord. Hallelujah. He is on the way. My Lord. He is on the way. Yes, yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Definitely going to be there before you too long. Good time. Good time. The devil's mad. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Yeah. He's proving it, too. Hallelujah. The devil tried to enter in yes. before service even yes. started. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. That split yes. second before service even started. He's a Hallelujah. liar. He's a liar. The spirit is dumb. Yes, yes, it is. The spirit is dumb. Yes, it is. Dumb and deaf. Yes, sir. Come on, brother. Dumb. Tell it, tell it, tell it. Jesus. But even through them deaf ears, she got. Hallelujah. She hears Jesus. Hallelujah. She can't help. Hallelujah. She can't help but hear him. Jesus. Hallelujah. That's right. Let your conversation be without covetousness. And be content with such things as he has. Yes. For he has said, I will never leave thee. Nor forsake thee. Hallelujah. I will never leave thee. That's powerful. Nor forsake thee. I will never leave thee. Nor forsake you. Jesus. You might not even have to read for me today. It's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My Lord. Jesus. Wonderful. Wonderful Savior. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm. As you will bear with me. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory of the Lord is here. Hallelujah. 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 In his presence, Jesus. He will never leave us. Hallelujah. Never forsake us. Always there. He's always there. Thank Don't you, Jesus. Him. My Lord Jesus. Or try to leave him or disregard him. Such a good father. Hallelujah. He's always there. Yes. Hallelujah. Always there. He's always been there. Yes. Jesus. Yes. Luke, the 19th chapter. Mm. Hallelujah. Start at the first verse. Thank you, Jesus. When you have to say it, man. Amen. Amen. And it reads, Luke 19, chapter, sorry, the first verse. Yes, says, sir. And Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Yes, sir. And behold, there was a man named Zac Zacchaeus. 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 Yes, sir. Which was the chief among the pu publicans. Yes, sir. And he was rich. Yes. And he sought to Jesus whom he was. Yes. And could not for the press, because he was little of stature. Yeah. And he ran before and climbed up into a, a sycamore tree, a sycamore tree, sycamore, sycamore tree yes, to see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide at thy house. Stop right there. So just I'm reminding you of Hebrews 13. Mm. 
Fifth verse, let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such thing as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave you. Yes, sir. Nor forsake thee. Yes, Lord. And in Luke 19, 1, they're introducing a character by the name of Zacchaeus. And he's looking for Jesus. Yes, sir. Mm. He's looking. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's looking for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. And he knows where he's going to be. He's looking for him. Yes, sir. Six verse reads on. And he made haste. And came down and received him joyfully. And he received him. Zacchaeus received him joyfully. Yes, sir. He didn't spot Jesus. Jesus spotted him. Uh -huh. yes, sir. <laughs> Jesus yes, sir. spotted Zacchaeus. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. And when they saw it, uh -huh. they all murmured, saying that he was going to be guest with the man that is a sinner. So we established that Zacchaeus is now, he's a sinner. Yes, sir. According to the people. Yes, sir. According to the village. According to those that are watching. And they're seeing Jesus. Amen. And what Jesus is saying to Zacchaeus, I'm going to dwell in your house. I'm going to abide in your house. Yeah. And Zacchaeus being a sinner as they claim. Yeah. He's joyful in heart. That's right. He's joyful in heart. Read on. Eighth verse says, And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. Yes, sir. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusing, accusation, I restore him fourfold. So Zacchaeus is pleading his case. In spite of the village calling him a sinner, he's pleading his case and saying what he has done. Yes, just to, to tell Jesus, say, I've done this, I've done that, I've uh -huh. done it. But I'm glad you're here. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Jesus, I'm glad you are here. <laughs> Read on. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation. Come to this house. For so much as he also is the son of Abraham. Pay attention to the tenth verse. My Lord. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. For the Son of Man is come to seek yes, sir. and to save that which is lost. Amen. I will never leave thee, never, nor forsake thee. Yeah. My Lord. I will never leave thee, never forsake thee. <laughs> For the Son of Man is come to Thank seek and Jesus. to save that Thank which you, is Lord. lost. Thank right. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Acts the third chapter, the first verse. Acts the third chapter and the first verse and it reads. Yeah. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer. Yes, sir. Being the ninth hour. Yes. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried. Yes. Whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful. Yes, sir. To ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Yes, sir. Who seen Peter and John about to go into the temple asked of an alms. Uh -huh. And Peter, fastening his eyes upon him, with John said, Look on us. Yes. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. Yeah. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, but such I, I but such as I have given I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Yes. And he took him up, and he took him by the right hand. Yeah. And lifted him up. Uh -huh. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. Yes, sir. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising God. Is this the same man that they found at the gate of beautiful? Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. The same man. That's yes, right. Something? This is the same man lame from his mother's womb. Yes, yes right. sir. But yet he had an encounter with Jesus. With Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Change his thing. He had an encounter. My Lord. With God. He had an encounter. Jesus found him yeah. in a state of loneliness. He found right. him laying at the gate in the beginning of the chapter. That's right. But towards the middle. Uh -huh. Amen. This same man, this yeah. beggar, this guy who was yeah. laying from the womb. Mm -hmm. He's leaping. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He's yeah. able to leap after one encounter yeah. That's right. yeah. with Jesus, an encounter. An experience. Mm -hmm. An experience with Jesus. And he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple. Yeah. Read on. Eight verse says, and he leaping up stood and walked and entered with them into the temple. Yes. Walking and leaping and praising God. Yes. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew yes. that it was he which set for arms at the beautiful gate of the temple. Yes. And they and they were filled with wonder and amazement 
at that, at that which he had at that which he had happened unto him. This man was known. Well known. Amen. So much that when he entered the gate leaping and walking and yeah. in joy, the people knew. Mm -hmm. They were like, whoa, wait a minute. They were amazed. Uh -huh. right. After this one encounter with Jesus, after this one experience yeah. with God, God found him in a state yes, sir. of loneliness. But after that one encounter with Jesus, mm -hmm. things changed. Yeah. That's right. right. That's right. Things changed. That's right. Matthew the 8th chapter. Yeah. What? We're going to start at the first verse. What a God we Amen. Serve. Matthew the 8th chapter, start at the first verse. When he was come down from the mountain, yes, sir. great multitudes followed him. Yes, sir. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, Thou canst make me clean. So this is the second encounter we're talking about now. Go on. Yes, sir. And Jesus put forth his hand uh -huh. and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was clean. So right that quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One experience. Yes, sir. Oh, One experience with a leper. Mm -hmm. One experience. God found him in a certain state. Yes, sir. Lowliness. Loneliness. That's right. And it changed for him that quick. Amen. After one experience. Amen. Read on. Fourth verse says, And Jesus saith unto him, See thou tell no man, but go thy way, show thyself to the priests, and offer the gift that Moses commanded, uh -huh. for a testimony unto them. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a satyrion, Beseeching him. Yes, sir. And saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick, obey a pausely, grievously tormented. So we're about to hit another experience. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 Yes, God. Read on. And Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. Yes. And the Satorian answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy uh -huh. that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only, uh -huh. and my servant shall be healed. Yes, sir. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. Uh -huh. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. And to another, come, and he cometh. Yes, sir. And to my servant, do this, and he doeth. Uh -huh. Doeth it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said, uh, said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, Yes, sir. I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you, that many shall come from, e from the east and the west, and shall sit with Ab sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into utter darkness. Yes, sir. There shall be weeping and gashing of teeth. Yes, sir. And Jesus said unto the Saracen, Go thy way, and as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the selfsame hour. So do the faith of the centurion. Uh huh. <laughs> His, his servant. Ain't that something? Through <laughs> Come the faith of the centurion on his Lord. own servant who wasn't even there. Right, yeah. right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that experience that the centurion had with Jesus. Yeah. My Lord. A miracle happened. Change. Yeah. Right. Something changed. Yes, right. yes. Something changed through an encounter with Jesus. That's right. Amen. Every time. And when Jesus. And when Jesus was coming to Peter's house, yeah. he saw his wife's mother's leg and sick of a fever. That's right. And he touched her hand. Yeah. This is another encounter. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. This is another encounter. Uh -huh. yeah, and he touched her hand. Uh -huh. And the fever left her. Yes, sir. After one touch. Wow. That's right. And she arose yes, and ministered unto them. Mm -hmm. When the evil was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. This is a slew of experience. That's right. That's right. This is a slew of encounters with Jesus. That's right. Just summed up into one verse. When the even was done, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word. And healed all that were sick. That's right. Oh. I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm glad. This is not scripture. This is me. I'm so glad. 
that Jesus didn't leave me. Amen. Lord Jesus. And it hit me, it hit me hard. Me being a, a full-on believer. 
And not saying she's not a believer, she is a believer, but she says she has a ways to go. But she hasn't fully devoted. And for us who say we fully devoted, it made me look. Yes, sir. Right. And her stance and her posture right. when she began to cry right. in the right. workplace. Wow. She began to cry in the workplace. She's saying, I want to be, I, I want to be ready. Ready. Yeah. Jesus. When he comes. Oh, Lord, Jesus. Oh, I want to be ready when he comes and is Please, so Jesus. Ready. Please, Jesus. She's like, it's very hard. It's very hard. Very hard. And it just caused me to think about, just think more and more about the life I devote to him. Mm -hmm. And then it caused me to think about the state that I was in. See, I was born a Christian. So, so, I was born a Christian, born in a Christian household, born in a Christian family. Thank you, Lord. It was almost like I had no choice to, but to serve God. Right, right. Church was my, was the only thing that I knew. You're right. Yeah, That's yeah. right. But just because I was born in it naturally doesn't uh -huh. mean that it was going to be on me. Amen, uh, amen. 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 Doesn't mean I was going to stay. Amen. amen. Doesn't mean because I was born naturally in a Christian household. Doesn't mean I was born with the Holy Ghost. Amen, amen. 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 That's right. It took me time to get there. Yes. Right. It took work. It took much prayer. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was born in, with inherited sin. Yes, sir. I wasn't born baptized. Yes, sir. Right, right. It took time to get there. Yes, but it caused me to think of, of my lifespan up until this point. And from being born naturally in a Christian household, not accepting God wholeheartedly from the start. Mm -hmm. But later on down the line, I started to. I got baptized at an early age of around nine. But still didn't receive the Holy Ghost yet until my adult age. Uh huh. That time between nine Jesus. and until my adult age. 23. Thank 23 the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 23 years old. From nine to 23. I'm looking at my life between then. Wow. Looking at all the errors, all the bad right? moves, all the thoughts that I had. Yes, yeah, sir. Jesus. How I thought I was untouchable. Yes, sir. Right. Right, sir. Almost godlike. Talk, sir. Because I haven't yet experienced death. Talk about it. I haven't yet experienced death. Did death sort of the creep near? Mm -hmm. Touch around my family. Touch on my family. Yes, yes. Touch those dear to me. It caused me to feel certain types of way. It, it caused sure. me to hurt. I experienced hurt so, from the age of 9 to 23. So. I had to be broken up. I had to hit my lowest slot. Yes. I had to hit that bottom. Yes. And in the midst of me hitting my lowest slot, that's where God, yes. Jesus, God actually entered in. Yes, yes, yes. Right there, right there. She entered in yes. at my lowest low. So I begin to continue to speak and have this conversation with my coworker. And after I comforted her and told her everything was going to be all right. And gave her scriptures and affirmations. Thank you, Lord. She began to ask me a question. She was like, why is it? And this is the question that I know that all of us as believers have probably had. And sometimes it's a hard one to, mm -hmm. to answer. She asked me. She said, why is it that God, being God, yeah. allows bad things to happen? Yeah. And I looked at her and I, and I understood where she was coming from. Being that this week was, has been a crazy week, this year, right. last year has been Amen. crazy. Amen. Amen. Yes, it has. It has. But like I said, things have been turned up, and now it's becoming apparent to the the sinner and the non-sinner, to the saint and not. Oh. And they're starting to see. And she asks, "Why is it that God is allowing these? Why is He allowing bad things to happen? Like, and then she started to put it on herself. Why is He allowing bad things to happen to me?" Why is he allowing this to happen in my life and that to happen in my life? 
And it caused me to think. And she kind of stumped me at one point. But then I came back. I said, God, he's definitely not the author of confusion. That is not his job. No. Right. Uh-huh. Right. I said, God has a purpose and God has a master plan. Right. And it's in the works right now. Amen. So what you're seeing that's happening around us is happening for a reason. But there's something greater mm-hmm. at the end. Amen. But the reason why we go through what we go through, the reason why we struggle is because there's a birth in a struggle. My right. Lord. There's a, yeah. Amen. There's birth in a struggle. That's right. Amen. Amen. There's birth in a challenge. I broke it down. She looked at me. She's like, so true. That makes sense. Yes. That makes Ooh, sense. Jesus. And then it caused me, and I started to dialogue in my own mind, and I started uh-huh. to pray. Uh huh. And you know how I said how I felt I was untouchable. I felt that I was invincible. I felt that I couldn't die at one point being a Christian. So I felt that death wouldn't visit me because I prayed so hard and I prayed so much. Yeah. Oh, I do. Like I say my scriptures and I do this and the third. And I'm very, I'm very active in the church. Yes, Thought I was untouchable. Though I couldn't be touched at all. Death, death couldn't touch me. Mm-hmm. And I thought about it. I just started to say this. Saying, why, why are we struggling? Why is God allowing us to struggle? Jesus died on the cross. Mm. Jesus died on the cross. Mm. Man dies. That's right. We're, we're going to die. There's a set, there's a set point. That's it. Right. There's a set point for us to die. Yeah. Right. Then I started to think, Jesus, in a way, struggled on the cross. Amen. Jesus Jesus. Jesus was on the cross being beaten. Yes, Jesus. Jesus suffered. Yes, Jesus. So if Jesus didn't dodge death, mm-hmm. and we can't dodge death, and Jesus didn't dodge suffering, mm-hmm. how do we feel right. that we're not allowed to right, suffer? Right, 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 right. 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 Amen. 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 How is it that we feel that we should not be suffering? Amen. And I really thought this in my mind. It's like, we're really. Think we're gods. <laughs> we're spoiled. Yeah. Yes. We're spoiled. Yeah. Yes, he, he died for us that we might live and might live again after this. Mm-hmm. And he struggled yeah. and suffered on the cross. Mm-hmm. So, what makes us think that we're not going to suffer? Right. Yeah. Yeah. What makes us think that we're not going to suffer? That's right. What makes us think that we're not going to suffer here? But like I said, there's a good thing. There's growth in a struggle. There's birth in suffering. Because we're going to suffer in the flesh. We're going to suffer in the flesh, but we're going to reign with him later. We're going to reign We're going to reign with him later. And I started to look at it and look at my lowest low. And I had many lowest lows. Yes, sir. But it's made me into the person I am today. And I'm not perfect Amen. at all. Nowhere near it. But each and every day, I tend to look back to where I once was. Yes. Liar. Yeah, come on. I'm a, I was a thief, a clap. I stole from my mom, my dad. I stole from the church. So, yeah. my Lord. Jesus. So, Jesus. money. So, Jesus. I did it. So, yes. you couldn't trust me around money. So, sir, you couldn't trust me. I was a devoted liar. Lies upon lies upon lies, and I made up a story. And the thing about it, I was so good at it. Talk, sir. I was so good at it. I was good at it. I could hold on to a story for years. And you come back to me and ask me about it, and I could pick up where I left off. That was me. Hey! Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That was me. Yes, God. 
I look back at those times where my mom couldn't even trust me. She couldn't even trust me. Couldn't leave me in the house by myself at a grown age. She couldn't trust me in the house alone. My parents couldn't trust me. My own older brother couldn't trust me. I look back mm -hmm. at the state that I was in. Yes, yeah. Lord. For years that I, that I was in that state. Mm -hmm. And how I just got tired of it. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. That's right. And I beat myself up so much about it. Jesus. And I would constantly go to God and pray about it at my young age. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Asking him to take it from me, to change me. Yes. yes. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. And I started to devote that prayer. It, it got repetitive. Yes, sir. Because it was a challenge. It was a struggle. But one day, it just all snapped and changed for me. Mm -hmm. And he did it for me. And I could I didn't even notice. So, it was hard for me to notice it so. at first. Mm -hmm. But I started to see my relationship blossom. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up yes, sir. with my mom. Amen. And it started to, to vamp up with my dad. Yes. And it started to vamp up with my brother. Thank you, Jesus. And then I, I, I couldn't really put my finger on why. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are things good now? Yeah. And then I started to remember. Yeah. And then I started to backtrack and see that I wasn't lying anymore. Yes, that I wasn't stealing anymore. God. That God took that. He took that urge out of me. Yes, he took it out of me. Yes, and years of a struggling relationship with all three and friends and family, other friends and family that I won't name, but a struggling relationship. It took all of that for something to birth. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, Jesus. For something to birth. God, it's good. And I always look back and I think on it. I think about the struggle that I had. And me talking to my coworker, and she's saying and naming all the hard challenges she had. Yeah. That she felt mm -hmm. and feels that's keeping her. Looking at him and seeing how she's saying that these things are challenging for her. It just caused me to, to, to just take a self get at myself. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 53. A struggle is needed. Yes, sir. Everybody. Our suffering is needed. Yes, Lord. Because if we don't suffer, if we don't struggle, we'll stay in that same. That's right. Amen. State. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. We'll be in that same Take state. Life for granted. See, God knows our heart, and He knows when we're giving our all. Yes. Yes. And sometimes we know when we're giving our all. Amen. 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 That's right. And if you know that you're able to do more, yeah. mm -hmm. do more. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I'm just going to put that out there. Amen. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Do more. You know where you have to pull back from? Sure. Do more. Yes. Isaiah 53. Yes. Turn to press rest. Yes, sir. Whom has believed our report? Yes. And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of a dry ground. He hath no form nor com comeliness. Yes, sir. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should, that we should desire. And he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, yes. and acquainted with grief. And he would hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, yes. and, he, and, and we esteemed him not. Yeah. Surely he hath borne our, our griefs 
and carried our sorrows. Yeah. Yet we did esteem him, strike, strike him, smiting of God, smiting of God, and afflicted. Yes. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Yeah. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with this stripes, we are healed. Yes. Yes. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. All we yes, like sir. sheep have gone astray. Wow. We have turned everyone to his own way. Yes, sir. Sheep we are. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you have ever watched a sheep, 